Hello and welcome to the first edition of Paul.com's Hack Naked TV. I'm your host, John Strand. What Hack Naked TV seeks to do, we hope, is to actually go through and give you some news stories every few days in under 10 minutes, just to kind of squeeze it into your busy, busy schedule, because this is the only thing we're finishing in under 10 minutes is probably a good thing. This particular edition of Hack Naked TV is brought to you by Defensive Intuition. It is the consulting arm of Paul.com Security Weekly. You see, we just don't get around and drink beer all the time. We actually do consulting every once in a while because we have to feed our families. All right, so the first story for this particular edition of Hack Naked TV is Twitter's to use SSL. Woohoo! Wait, really? Honestly, why, why is this actually a story? Um, this is one of those fascinating things to us is, you know, basically organizations are missing good security practices. And then it's like a big deal whenever they all of a sudden implement it. I mean, was SSL that big of a burden for the folks at Twitter? At any rate, it's kind of a bit interesting to see how this is actually going to play out as the a lot of the vulnerabilities and a lot of the attacks like Fire Sheep have been around for, I don't know, um, over a year now? So it's good that they're finally getting around to doing that. So good on you, Twitter. All right, so TSA security fail of the week. Now, this isn't really that big of a deal from the perspective of they failed a security audit. They found security vulnerabilities as is prone to happen anytime you do any type of security audit. There's some real gems in there, though. However, there's a poor wireless security configurations, which many times we see in our consulting engagements. They were also behind on patches. Really no big surprise. But the reason why this made it into Hack Naked TV for today is that the TSA said, no, no, it's cool that we had those security vulnerabilities because we use hard disk encryption. Hard disk encryption. All right. We've already seen that this does not work when we were talking about Depart Department of Veterans Affairs. They got compromised a while ago, if you remember, a notebook was released and there was a lot of unencrypted data on it and they switched over to hard disk encryption. So that's awesome. However, remember, there's a lot of ways where bad guys can bypass your hard disk encryption. For example, RAM scrapers would be a good, good, good example of how bad guys can get access to a computer system and actually scrape that sensitive data directly out of the memory of the computer. Also, remember, if a bad guy takes over your computer, well, you're logged into it. So they get a interpreter session on that box. They're effectively you. If you're logged into the hard disk and you now access anything that's encrypted, so can they. I just realized something on this picture. Is that a woman or does she have a tail? Oh, I hope that that's a tail. All right. Anyway, anti-sec is on the prowl again. The fine folks at Anonymous, anti-sec or LUTSEC, whatever they want to call themselves today. They nailed Vanguard, which is a defense contractor that does uh, spy planes. They do a lot of those unmanned drones. They actually nailed the emails of the senior vice president. Somehow they twisted this around to say, white hats beware everywhere. Apparently the senior vice president was also a member of InfraGuard, so they took this as a hack to InfraGuard. I, I don't know exactly how I feel about this, especially when they said they're coming after my mail spools because, you know, I'm white hat, you're white hat, at least I think you might be. Um, they're coming after our mail spools, they're coming after our bash history files are coming after us. So the only thing that went through my head is now I believe that this guy from Hide Your Kids, Hide Your Wife is now a member of Antisec, but I'm not entirely sure. So this is the end. As I said, we we're going to do these in very short boat bursts. Of course, if you want to get news, updates, cool blog posts, be sure to check out paul.com.com. Also, don't forget our wiki. As near as we can sell, as tell, it's probably one of the largest resources of technical and non-technical and complete nonsensical um, content related to information security on the web. We also have the forum, forum.paul.com, and also you can email me, john at paul.com.com. And of course, I can be found on Twitter, strandjs. And don't forget, this edition was brought to you by Defensive Intuition, the consulting arm of paul.com Security Weekly. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next edition.